All right, guys. Uh, Mike here, negative gradient. Here in the workshop. So I've uh, been away for a bit, and uh, in my last video, uh, I said we were gonna do uh, muscles, and so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, yeah, I hurt my arm. Uh, that's why I haven't done any videos. But now uh, we're back. So uh, yeah. Let's go! Okay guys, let's start. Grab uh, an arm or a leg or whatever you have, something with muscles and, uh, you know, skin. And uh, prime it, grey or black, doesn't matter, I prefer black, this time I'm using grey. That's how it is. And uh, if you want to make it easy for you, then you grab uh, rosy flesh and basic skin color, that's all you need. If you want to be more advanced and mix your own tones, I recommend gory red, pork brown and uh, pale sand. So uh, yeah, put the paint on the palette. Alright, so uh, yeah first uh, and uh, most basic variant just grab your rosy flesh and the first layer you're just gonna put it down as per usual um, most of the time uh, we are told to make sure that the primer is fully covered um, two layers so, uh, thick so that you can't see primer I would like you to deviate from this, um, put your first layer down and in the crevices or in the valleys of, a, of your muscles or your models, if you can see primer shining through, that is absolutely fine. Alright, and the first layer is done, so we're gonna do the second layer now same uh, base color but this time we are going to emphasize the protruding bits we're gonna follow the shapes we're gonna use the side of our uh, brush as uh, uh, as much as we can so that we uh, get nice even strokes even though they're short that's absolutely fine but the point of the second layer is to fully cover the protruding bits so, if you still can see the primer in the crevices, that is fine. It will act as contrast uh, and shadows. Alright, coming up on the highlight now, so you're gonna take your uh, basic skin tone and uh, mix it about 50-50 with your uh, rosy flesh. And uh, we're gonna make sure to use this as a highlight where the muscles are protruding and on all of the bits that are in uh, light, obviously. Mixing it with your uh, mixing your highlight color with your base color will uh, make the transitions a little bit uh, more even, so it doesn't look uh, too uh, shabby. And uh, as you can uh, tell, uh, you know, doing this arm in this uh, fashion is uh, quite fast, and you could easily do a miniature with uh, highlights um, in 30 minutes. Uh, just by using this technique and uh, and yeah just take it easy so obviously in this um, 
in this uh, layer, the highlight layer, it's a little bit more important that you are a little bit more careful with uh, where you put your paint. Also remember to have a little bit of water in it so it doesn't become too thick. And uh, from here, you know, highlight as much as you want to. As much as you feel uh, uh, will look good. And uh, when you're done with it and you let it dry a little bit, you have it uh, look at it uh, from a, a little bit of a distance and you will notice that the primer and the highlight will act as really nice contrast with each other and you will have nice luminosity etc uh, etc et fast and easy and finally layer uh, three well four but uh, Layer 3, we're just going to use the basic skin tone um, for the final highlights. And same as before, we reduce the area even more. And we're just, you know, in, in some cases I just stipple it. In some cases I just mark a particular ridge or whatever uh, where, you know, I really want it to be bright. Hey guys, uh, coming up next is a variant on this. We're going to mix in gory red to give it a little bit of a different tone. The purpose of this is to fill the crevices with it um, so that the arm looks kind of fleshy or whatever. This color could easily be uh, like some type of lightning blue or whatever if you're trying to make a golem that has like some kind of power and it's crackling. Uh, uh, out from in between their muscles or whatever so uh, let's go uh, it's sped up but this arm took five minutes to do so this is a speed paint uh, session it's not speed paint but it's speed painting yeah Quick word. So, looking at these, it's fairly obvious that doing it in this type of speed is not going to win you any golden demons, my friends. You understand? So, just note that the techniques I'm showing you here, and uh, where the goal is to be very fast. Um, the purpose is simply that it should look smooth and decent from, you know, tabletop gaming distances. Yeah, 30 centimeter, a meter, or whatever. I mean, it looks pretty good. But if you're aiming for smoother... Um, transitions and so on and so forth then you need to put more time into it okay good yeah that's about it hope you enjoyed that um yeah fast way to paint muscles and skin you can apply this to chest or whatever anyway uh, next video is gonna be a super mutant behemoth so you're gonna see uh, the way I would paint someone who is basically just all muscle and uh, obviously we're gonna use green and tones uh, in that uh, area stay tuned for that like and subscribe and uh, yeah all of that stuff <laughs>